Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I have a really special treat for everybody today. To celebrate spooky season, I decided to show you a supposed haunted mansion here in New Jersey. So I had the opportunity over the summer to go explore the mansion and it is a 10 bedroom summer retreat home that was owned by an 1800s actress named Lotta Crabtree. The home is amazing. It sits on Lake Hopakong and it is, like I said, supposedly haunted. It actually just went on the market for $3.5 million. So I'm gonna bring you along to show you the whole tour. And maybe while you're watching, take a look and see if you can find any ghosts along the way. This is the absolutely stunning summer retreat mansion, originally owned by the 1800s actress Lotta Crabtree. It was built in 1886 by the Philadelphia architect Frank Furness. The mansion was built in a highly influential area of Mount Arlington on Lake Hopakong. It was a vacation spot for the wealthy and anyone famous in the late 1800s through early 1900s. Since Hollywood was not built yet, so many celebrities such as Crabtree lived full-time in places like New York City or Boston, and they would vacation around Lake Hopakong. Just look at this amazing front door. This is an original and the carriage house that had been converted to a garage. Entering into the foyer, it is just beyond breathtaking. The fireplace mantle feels like one of a kind. Next, I took a quick peek in the dining room and the furniture in there was absolutely beautiful. I headed into the kitchen where again there was just so many beautiful pieces of furniture. Next I headed into the living room which was right off the kitchen and the fireplace mantle was not original to the home but it did match the period of the home. I had to share the bathroom because of the high tank toilet. This is just something that I never see and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really cool.
I headed down one of the side hallways, admiring the architectural work throughout, and of course I had to check out these gorgeous stained glass windows. And this is Miss Lotta Crabtree. She was actually one of the highest paid actresses of her time, and it was mostly because of her time that she spent in California during the gold rush. She would entertain men with songs and dances, and they would actually tip her in gold and gems. And this fireplace mantel used to have her name spelled out in real gems, but many, many years ago, they were pried off by thieves. As you can see, the home still has many original photos of Lada. I headed upstairs to the second floor, which has five bedrooms. and it included this bedroom with an original brass bed that was in the house since Lada. This was the master bedroom and master bath, again the gorgeous stained glass windows, and obviously there were many modern features in this bathroom, but it was just still absolutely breathtaking. I headed further down the hall to another bathroom, which again had the high tank toilet. And then I went to this room, which had another original brass bed. This little set of side stairs that goes from the third floor all the way to the basement would have been used mostly by servants in the home. They would not use the main stairs and this was also due to the fact that their sleeping quarters were up on the third floor and this was the only set of stairs that would get them there.
these rooms were much smaller and obviously less elaborate, um, but they were only being used for storage now. This one in particular belonged to a nanny from another family that lived in the home after Lada, and this was said to be one of the haunted areas in the home. And I will say this room brought me a lot of sadness, and I just can't explain why, but it did. I decided to head to the basement even though I rarely explore them because this one had a very special room with a secret that was kept behind the walls for many years. So it was discovered that behind wood paneling there were original painted scenes that depicted the area around the Lot of Crabtree house and they actually told a story if you followed all of them and it must have been covered up for about 50 50 plus years but wow what an amazing find they were amazing Now I just want to mention that the Stonewall Foundation on this home was really amazing and it must have been quite an undertaking during its time. It is really just stunning and even as we headed outside you can see how much stonework was involved for this house. It's just really different compared to the poured concrete that most homes have. I decided to go back up to the first floor just to see this beautiful wraparound back deck that overlooked the yard and the lake, and there was even some sort of scorekeeper that was built into the wall. Now this was one of my favorite parts of the home. The stairs and path leading down to the lake, it's just unforgettable how beautiful these are. They had built-in seating along the way and the lions and gargoyle statues. I am just blown away. So during her time, Lotta would host huge events at this home and she would have visitors from all over the world stay here. And because Lotta never married or had children, she really was all about being a socialite, and she enjoyed the life of entertaining, so what an amazing home to do so in.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. This really was such a special tree. Like I mentioned, the home is currently listed for sale, so maybe one of my viewers will be the next owner. Thank you guys for watching and thank you everyone who has subscribed to my channel. If you have not done so, it really helps my channel and I would appreciate it so much. Thanks guys.